Hello YouTubers, thank you for coming to my channel, this is Sam's Automotive, so today we got a 2003, or actually it's a, yeah, 2003, um, Honda Accord, okay, I'm going to show you where is the ELD, electrical low detector, uh, which is the, uh, which is a sensor that Honda's use. Uh, to check the load on the um, alternator and that tells you um, I guess since I input to the uh, PCM to turn off and on the uh, the uh, alternator I could be wrong uh, or I could be right if you have any question about that or you have any comment Leave it down below if I'm right about this. But all I know is that that detects the load, okay? All right, so pretty much what you want to do is um, you want to bolt this fuse box here, okay? And then um, you want to remove a bolt is over here and a bolt is over here. There's your two tens, okay? Once you do that, what you want to do is you want to clip these guys on the side. And then, once you clip that, you're gonna uncover. You're gonna cover this box. And here's the. Uh, here's the. Uh, here's the little detector here. Let me see if I can I can point it out. It's that box right here. Okay, this box. It's held by. Um, I think it's like a, like an Allen key right on it. Okay. So I think it's, this thing is a little right. We're going to try to, we're going to try to put the, uh, the flashlight here. There we go. So I think it's much better with the flashlight on the phone. Okay. So right there, this box right here, that's your LED. Okay. And it's going to have three wires it's going to have a red and a black a black and a blue and a black so in order to test that load that the electrical load uh you're going to have three things you're going to have a 12 bolt you're going to have a ground and the black one which is in the middle i think the red the red and the white the wait let's see back again okay so we're looking here the connector right in front of us if you see the connector right in front of us the red and the black which is the first one that's going to be your 12 bolt the middle one that's going to be your ground and the third one that's going to be your output i believe those are five bolt once you have verified that um this eld uh this low detector um sensor is okay if you don't got the 14 bolts on the first one that tells you uh fuse number 18 inside the the compartment which is going to be in the kick panel um it's going to be right here and as you can see there are number it right there there's number 17 18 so you're going to look for that number 18 which is that 15 the blue one right there see if i can focus okay right there okay that's the numbers right there all right guys so <clears throat> if you had if you would have put a fuse there and that fuse keep blowing so that tells you there's a shore between that wire from that box to this sensor okay all right now the other thing you need to look up here is that that um wire it actually leads with the other wire that goes to the alternator and that's going to be this yellow this guy here it's going to be a yellow and black okay that should be a 12 volt also right there uh, as you can see here, there is a connector right down here. You guys see it? 
I'm touching it with my fingers right here. Okay. This connector here, that's going to be your connector for all this wires that goes over here. There's four wires. So you have 12 volts. Then the, other, the, the three of these guys are for the alternator output inputs. So what you want to do is just uh, check if you have a 12 volt there. If you have 12 volt here or you have a ground, then it's probably short right in this connector. If not, you would have to look it up right in this joint right here. See this joint right here? You need to trace one of these. I'm not pretty sure which one is it, but there's numbers also in this connector in the back of it. Okay, so that's what you're gonna find your uh, you're gonna find your uh, your uh, ground or whatever that that wire is grounded. So it's gonna it's gonna come it's gonna come from the inside. It's gonna join right there. You're gonna have one lead to the load detector, and then you're gonna have the other lead going to the uh, alternator all right guys so pretty much things um i also have another video that i'm gonna make up uh explaining why this alternator was not charging okay after uh diagnosing all these things okay and that's gonna be in the other um video that i'm gonna make try to explain this all right thanks for watching this is sam give me a thumbs up and subscribe god bless you